My name is Antoinette. I am also known as the mayor of Music Street. <laughs> I would like to be Viceroy or Archduke, but you don't get to pick your nickname, so there it goes. This is a building that we call the Ghost Ship just because of the Tyvek that's coming down. When it's windy, it kind of blows and it's abandoned and kind of creepy and makes sounds when the wind blows at night. And sometimes it's collapsing. Uh, one of our neighbors was walking down the street on the other side of the building and I kind of started telling people not to park there because the building had this big belly in it and every time it rained it got a little bit worse and kid was walking by and I heard the building partially collapsed and heard him scream and it was like my heart just dropped thought that kid was dead but he was young and he was spry and um, he basically just dived out of the way which is great I'm not really sure what happened with the owner he's not a bad guy um, well I don't know why you would bother to buy a building like this and just let it go to crap especially if it's so dangerous but we kind of pushed the debris to the side mattresses and bed frames and pieces of the building that had you know sloughed off and needles and shoes and clothes and actual human poop it was all of the things um, so I talked to some neighbors and I was like hey you guys want to do a community cleanup and shockingly they said yes we would like to do that I said all right so I brought all the equipment the trash cans and the bags and the shovels and all the things and um, we just spent the day and and cleaned it up and it was you know it was pretty great so I called a friend of mine uh, Carlos who does graffiti tours and I uh, asked him if he knew anybody that wanted to you know show up and paint and he said that he did and I offered them ladders to borrow uh, a couple pop-up tents some water beer whatever you know and they spent a few days here it really didn't take that long but it was awesome to be a part of um, creating art and I'm not an artist so but just to be a facilitator to be a part of this was so amazing um, after we got it cleaned up a musician of the block said that she hadn't had a chance to play in a while so there's enough space for her and her band members to spread out and I was like how about this how about we have a paint party right we've got live music and you guys keep going and they were and I didn't think they would go for it but they were like that's awesome and I was like okay then that's great you can you can paint for an audience so the band made some tip money which was you know great people that had not seen live music in months like were almost brought to tears because you know it's a tough time right now and I think people were just happy to be able to be out and to do something because I mean you know we got a pandemic and pretty much an economic collapse and it's pretty rough on a lot of people so these are two of the pieces that are going to be lost unfortunately two days after we finished everything um, there was a big yellow sticker on the door saying that there was an emergency demo notice. It's like, seriously? Because, really? I, I do not dispute the fact that the building needs to come down, at least in part. They could literally take the top off of it, though. They don't have to demo the whole thing. But either which way, you know, I don't dispute that because it literally, a piece of it fell um, I mean, a piece of the building fell and, and somebody almost got hurt. But that was, you know, that was a few months ago. So I don't know. I feel like the timing is a little suspicious. I'm sure the demo order has been in work for a while, but all of a sudden to get it two days after this, when this place has been standing like this for years, I don't know. 